This is what the edit page of DaVinci Resolve has looked like for years. You got your timeline, your viewer, uh, two little sections up here in this corner. You can toggle between these pages. Over here, you can toggle between these tabs. And you have two extra small buttons up here that are important. If I have my media pool over here, I click that button. It extends that all the way to the bottom of the page. And if at this point I also click effects, it loads both of those at once because it fills that left side of the screen. If I close this so this window is only open on the top half of the screen, you can only see one of these at a time. And something similar happens on the right side. This inspector fills the screen, but you can always toggle that to just do the top half. And I believe if you have both of those, yeah, you can have two at once over on this side. Cool. It stayed like this for a while, but something changed in DaVinci Resolve 20. By default in Resolve 20, if you have a vertical timeline, things start to look different. The big sort of like title feature here is that you now have this button down here that will completely fill your right side of the screen with your viewer. Obviously, this gives you a lot more screen real estate if you are editing vertical content. And if you open up the inspector, uh, that opens to the right of that panel. But if I click that button to the right now, you'll notice, oh, nothing is happening. Um, you can kind of have two at once, but if you click that small button again, it just goes back to the one, but at least you can click that to completely get rid of it again. Um, the bigger changes happen on the left side of the screen, and this is what I'm seeing uh, the most comments and confusion about. Lots of people generally like this addition to have a much larger viewer, but we have a bit of a trade-off. We have our timeline down here, but now this entire area is this media pool, and this button we had to expand it is now completely grayed out. You can't click it. If I even grab this edge, I can like barely move that around and if I open up my media pool and effects they now share this space horizontally and uh, I have some little wiggle room here sliding, sliding them back and forth and you can always pull up this timeline uh, but this is just confusing some people some people straight up don't like it some people don't like the inconsistencies some people don't realize this change in general so if they are working on a horizontal timeline and then they jump to a vertical timeline uh, you know windows are just responding differently than they're used to obviously the first thing to do is just realize that these changes are being made so you're not thrown off guard but say you are in a vertical timeline and in your situation you don't need this full like right side uh, viewer you're fine in this little window up here but you want these panels on the left side of the screen to act the way they did previously well we have a setting for that up in DaVinci Resolve preferences user UI settings we have use optimized UI layouts for vertical video if I uncheck that click save oh we have that larger viewer area and on the left side of the screen, I can now have this media pool and effects uh, take up that space like they were previously. I can even completely close them, uh, which you couldn't do in that sort of new vertical layout. If I hop back and forth uh, between my vertical and horizontal now, they are exactly the same. Now, like I said, I have seen comments about this. Um, so this is a small area. I might expect to see, you know, some changes or updates or some more wiggle room from Blackmagic Design in future updates. Uh, but the ability that we can even turn this off if we so desire um, is an important little bit of news that I think more people need to be aware of. Again, I've seen lots of people really like the expanded vertical viewer, but if you don't like the trade-offs, then you, you have more of a choice here um, once you are aware of this setting. But that's all just a quick heads up for those who are unaware um, that hiding down in the uh, preferences is this little option. Use optimized UI layouts for vertical video. And don't forget, if you want even more out of Resolve 20, I have dozens of presets, templates, and plugins available over at sterlingsupply.co. Link in the description to that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.